chat. Tonight's drink of choice is Gold Peak Sweet Tea. And you know what we're going to do right now? Only because I can. Remember this trivia that we get for cheap, almost free? We're going to make it more sweeter. Add in two packets of trivia. It's all about getting the sugar high. And then we go. Wow. Ooh, wow. That, that's good. That's like candy. <laughs> Alright. So, we are going to talk about, this is a new show to us. Uh, they just started their second season on TLC. Where else? 90 Day Fiance. I don't know if you watched last season, which I did. I watched every single episode last season. I love that show. And if you've been following my channel, I have lots of Russian, um, fake Russian brides that like to email me a lot that I like to email with. So this kind of hit home. And um, yeah, so it started, I think it was last week. These air Monday nights, I think at 9, 9 or 10 o'clock Eastern time on TLC. So look for it. But Here's the reason why we have to talk about it, because the couples that they've aired so far are every single one of them, well, not every single one of them, almost all of them are a little fishy. So, the concept of the show, if you've never seen it before, is is in the United States, there is what they call it a fiancé visa, which essentially, you can bring someone here from another country and you have 90 days to get married, or they have to go home. So that's the concept of this show, and... Um, a lot of the times you just wonder, really, do they really want to get married to this person or are they just trying to get into the United States? So, you be the judge. I'm going to show you a couple of the couples and um, we can go from there. Okay, we have Daya. Right here, here is Daya and that is Brett. Brett's from Washington State and Daya is from the Philippines. Now, what's a little weird about this is, I mean, I think she might be legit, but this guy... He lives with two women or roommates. They're probably like old enough to be his mother. I believe they look like they're probably most like the lesbians. Nothing wrong with that. But those are his, his roommates as friends. And then they take they go. He goes to talk to his one friend, and she's like old enough to be his mother. And um, it's just kind of weird. And he actually kind of comes off that he could be gay. I don't know. But now, meanwhile, we have. Um, Daya here. Here's his story. Here they are again. Um, Brett was searching online for a Filipino woman with a strong family values when he met Daya. After establishing their transcontinental romance online, Brett traveled to the Philippines to meet Daya and spent five days with her. Then Brett, Brett proposed. Daya is elated over the engagement, but she must face Brett's skeptical family and friends who doubt that she is marrying for the right reasons. Probably. If they only knew each other for five days and he proposed and she said yes. Mm. Hell yeah, I'd be, if, I was, if I wanted to come to the United States, I'd say yes too. Okay, next we have Chelsea from Illinois. Right there. And then we have Yamir who is from... No. Yeah, I think there's two Yamirs. Yamir who is from Nicaragua. Supposedly, he is from this big... This is a big pop band in Nicaragua called My La Vox. And he's supposedly like this big pop star. But the cool, the funny thing about him is he doesn't even really speak much English. So that's good. It is uncertain what the future will hold for this young couple living in suburban Illinois. That I don't know. If he's a pop star, he's got it good in Nicaragua. Maybe he is have it for this chick, but I think this chick only sees him because he's a pop star. I really don't think it's going to work out, but I'm really curious. The, all of these people so far, I'm really curious to see. Now, this one, this one I am most fascinated with. We have Danielle, who is 41, from Norwalk, Ohio. And then she has Mohammed, who is 26, from Tunis, Tunisia. He's 26. She is 41. Yeah, she looks like a mother. She looks she looks like a mother who's 41 from Ohio. Nothing, no offense to anyone that's from Ohio, but I mean, you can see she's a little overweight. Maybe a little pudgy, but nothing wrong with that. But but Mohammed Mohammed proposed. Here's their story again. They dated online. Danielle flew to Tunisia to meet Mohammed in person. 
Now that they're engaged, Muhammad is coming to Ohio and must contend with Danielle's skeptical family, including her four children, and confront some pretty extreme culture shock. Do you think? Now, they they had some problems at the airport on this second episode. I don't want to spoil it for you. But they couldn't find him because for some reason his flight got screwed up and yada yada. So then they find him and you know, he seems into her, but he, he, you can tell he kind of seems into getting into the United States. And that's kind of sad because she doesn't have a clue and I believe that she paid for him to come here. So I don't see this one working out good. I'm sorry, but th that's the one I most, I think they know it too, so they put them on there. Now we have this chick. She is smoking. Every year they have a smoking chick. This is our smoking chick. We have Evelyn from Santiago, Colombia, Santiago de Cali, Colombia, and Justin, who's from San Jose, California. Look at her and Justin. He's kind of like a douchey dude. But he is from yeah, he's from California. She's over there. Um, they met in Colombia at the World Games Rugby. They locked eyes, and the rest is history. Justin is a typical bachelor, hasn't told anyone about his relationship with Evelyn. Now she's coming to the United States. He must introduce her to his family and friends and share the news that he's off the market and engaged. And he's like, yeah, he like he's like a gym teacher, and he's like eating like microwave food. And what does he say? The first night they sleep, and she sleeps nude. So most likely they had sex on the first night. Go Justin. But then in the next day, he goes um. He goes, I may be the king of the bedroom, but you will be the queen of the kitchen. And he takes her over there and tries to make her cook. What a douche. I mean, look at her. Look at her. She is smoking. You got to treat her better than that. But that's a, typ that's a typical guy. So, yeah. So, I am just, I'm locked on this show. Like, there's, you know, I love the train wrecks. You know, I love the train wrecks. I think every one of those would probably be a train wreck, maybe except that last one. Because last year they had, um, I'm drawing a blank even what her name was, but uh, she was like smoking and then she's with that guy who's like all kind of like Christian and stuff. And she just wants to party and he's scared that the parents are going to hear them. And yeah, yeah. So that's 90 Day Fiance. I hope to get myself a 90 Day Fiance one time because I was like, it only takes 90, 90 days. There's no, no beating around the bush, no nothing like that. You just do it and you just cross your fingers and hope that it works. And make sure you do a prenup first because... Did I tell? Oh my god, that tastes like candy. And it's trivia, so there's zero calories in there. It's probably going to give me cancer or something down the road. But mm, that tastes amazing. And look at all that sugar at the bottom. Trivia. <laughs> All right, so we did 90 Day Fiance this week. Um, yeah, so it's on Monday nights. Um, I believe they replay it throughout the week. And I think on the first episode, you'll be able to watch it online. So stay tuned. We maybe will have a recap show mid, mid season, a few seasons, a few episodes in. Um, next Saturday, I think I told you, I am going to be away. I'm going to Ohio with my parents. So um, yeah, I probably will not have a Saturday night chat, but. We'll still have a Sunday video, so if you want to get your shopping on, tune in for that. Okay, I am going to head on out now. And enjoy the rest of my Saturday night, and I hope that you do the same thing. Maybe find yourself a 90 Day Fiancé. If you do, please let me know. And as if she has, she has any um, friends, just let me know. Alright, until next week. Bye. Oh, we're doing good? Oh, okay, great. Okay. I think you're, you've got the wrong person, sir. This is Saturday, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yes.